Hello, I'm Dr. Rajai. Today, the learning topics of these chapters are steps in a staffing technical organization, process of employment application, nature of authority and power, concept of delegation, structure of committees. Please listen to the following PowerPoint presentation, and I will return at the end to discuss the key points. Chapter 6 Some Human Aspects of Organizing Management functions is divided into planning, decision making, organizing, leading, and controlling. In this chapter we will be discussing on human aspects of organization. Chapter Objectives Describe the steps in staffing technical organizations. Explain the importance of delegation. Describe the structure of committees. Staffing technical organizations. Identify the skill base. Estimate the number of personnel. Plan recruiting policies. Select the best applicants. Orient and train applicants. Evaluate performance and provide compensation new hires establish the need for new hires determine sources for new hires like new college graduates experienced professionals technician support other sources Human resource planning selection involves the following steps in filtering process. Applications or resumes reviewed. Interviews accomplished. References checked. Candidates passing initial screens formally interviewed. Resume. The first impression an engineer makes is usually through the resume. Formatting and appearance Make your name stand out with a bold, larger font size. Use standard fonts such as Times New Roman, Arial, or Courier. Type size, 10 to 12 point. White, beige, or light gray quality bond paper. Length should generally be one page unless you have extensive experience or graduate school work. Following are the key components of resume. Heading Education Skills And experience Although one should try to make maximum use of his or her talents, it's not worth stuffing your resume with every tiny talent crumb you possess. It's better to focus on filling the below outlined additional subsections of the resume if applicable. Professional Affiliations Honors, Awards, and Activities Campus or Community Involvements Leadership Activities Foreign Language Proficiency, depends on the country you're applying for job Computer Applications Skills And Volunteer Experiences as the word heading suggests, your resume heading should be placed at the top of page 1. It should be typed right into the body of your resume, not in the header function of the Word document, and it should include Name with large and bold letters Telephone number Email address, professional looking, check on a daily basis Professional website Include the following in education field. Educational institutions or specialized training programs you have attended. Name and location of the institution. Major, minor, and area of concentration. Graduation or anticipated graduation date, for new graduates. GPA, if 3.2 or higher, for new graduates. 
certifications and, or licensure related to employment goal. Relevant coursework and, or thesis may be included. Relevant skills gained through Coursework Employment Internship or co-op Volunteer experience Student leadership Computer usage And foreign language Professional experience such as Related employment full-time or part-time internships paid or unpaid co-op summer jobs volunteer or service learning senior projects or academic research cover letters and business correspondence following are the do's and don'ts while writing a cover letter do follow rules of a standard business letter. Do target your correspondence to the audience or employer, example, avoid, to whom it may concern, dear sir or madam. Do make sure there are no spelling, grammar, or punctuation errors. Do limit to one page. Do keep a copy of everything that you send out. Do make sure there is an original signature on all the documents that you mail out. Do close with a direct request for some type of action, example, interview, phone call, etc. Do use high quality stationery for hard copies. Don't start every sentence with I. Don't use language that is gimmicky, jargonish, unprofessional, don't try to be a comic. Don't include personal information that is not relevant to the position. Don't give false impressions. Types of correspondence include Cover letter types Application Prospecting or letter of inquiry Networking Letters of acceptance, withdrawal, and rejection Employment applications Email correspondence Cover letters format Introductory paragraph Who are you? What is your interest? How did you hear of the opening? Body One to two paragraphs containing a summary of skills and qualifications Highlight targeted experiences included on your resume, don't repeat your entire resume. Sales pitch, explain your value to the organization. Show that you've done your homework. Closing paragraph. Thank the reader for reviewing your enclosed resume. Restate your interest in the position. Arrange a follow-up contact. Passive approach, puts responsibility on employer to make contact with the applicant. Active approach, the applicant offers to initiate further contact with the employer in the near future. Closing sincerely. Cover letters application letter. Use as response to specific job advertisements and vacancy announcements. Strategy is to demonstrate that your qualifications fit the requirements of the position. Study the position description carefully and persuasively show how your skills, education, and experience fit the position. Employment application If the resume creates a favorable impression, the job candidate will be asked to fill out an application may be redundant with the resume but will usually lead to an interview. Campus interview Graduating engineer typically makes contact with potential employers on campus. Successful campus interviews Applicant learns about employment opportunities and other advantages with firm. 
Interviewer learns enough about the applicant. Site, plant visit. Means company has a substantial interest. Normally means three or four staff interviews. Would include a tour of the area in which the candidate will work. Normally includes a briefing on company benefit programs and general company policies. The job offer is a is a formal letter offering specific position and identifies salary reporting date position and title the supervisor the candidate reports to provisions regarding moving expenses if applicable orientation and training Helps newcomer become aware of organization and values. Some corporations hold orientation classes, rotate newcomers through short assignments in various key departments. Includes total socialization of newcomer to the environment and culture of the organization. Appraising performance provides feedback to the employee. Guidance on how to improve performance. Performance basis for rewards or promotions. Objective documentation for actions against non-performers. Sources of power. Legitimate or formal authority. Reward. Coercive. Expert. And referent committees following are the reasons for using committees policy making or administration representation shared knowledge securing cooperation pooling of authority and training of participants effective committees Committee purpose and chair. Size. Preparation, agenda. Conduct of meeting. Meeting follow up. In this chapter, we discuss how organizations is run by a group of individuals, the importance of authority and power. Top management of an organization have huge impact on the future of the company. Almost on a regular basis, we see some abuse of power by top management in companies in the news. Remember, the companies are made of people and the success or failure of a company highly depends on interaction between employees. 